Okay, this morning, guys, we're going to be testing the Critical Defense Light 38 Special. This is a 90 grain critical defense round. It is made to have less felt recoil than their traditional critical defense round. These are made for anybody. If you're getting up in years, got some arthritis going, younger shooter, be good training round for new shooters, less felt recoil. And we're going to test it today out of the snub nose model 605 Taurus through four layers of denim calibrated gel like we always do guys let's check it out you can see there the pink insert the FTX insert this is exactly the same as the critical defense red one except the less felt recoil around and these boxes do help support breast cancer so let's check it out guys let's get it shot okay here we go with that critical defense light 38 let's check it out in the gel let's go check it out okay we can see where that critical defense light went in looks like about the inch mark we start to see pretty decent expansion dumping some denim wound track starts to develop pretty decent around that three to the six and it looks like it's losing a lot right there it looks like it's just running out of energy right there at seven streamline 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 and then there we are it looks like it went to about 12. Now we are using this clear ballistics gel. Went and probably sucked back. I'm seeing that a lot in some of my testing. The bullet's actually going, you can see where the wind track stopped, right there at 12 and then it sucked itself back. But well opened up, polymer plug still right in front of it. Let me get that up out of there and we'll take a look at it. Okay guys, got that up out of the gel, you take a look. Mushroom back like they always do. All the critical defenses damn near look alike. Plugs right there next to it leading right forward 12 inches penetration this is the critical defense light 38 special i'll get a side cut and get weights and measurements and focus. okay guys back at you here quick pose to that critical defense light 38 special that 90 grain fxt loaded with the little pink insert there instead of the red they loaded this light it's supposed to be for less recoil for sensitive shooters it's supposed to still have great expansion. We've seen that today, guys. You see it right there. The expansion, of course, you'll see all the numbers and everything. Just like all the critical duties, critical defenses, expansion's spot on. Look at that. Peeled back nice. We got some pretty damn good expansion out of this. Expansion was 449. I'll throw that up there like I always do. Weight retention, let's get on to that. Spot on, I mean, it, you know, they're 90 grain. We got 89.6. I'll throw that up there like I always do. Penetration. Now, let's get the penetration. We know we got 12 inches. 12 inches isn't the deepest penetration. It sure as hell isn't the lightest either. But for a low recoil round, and, of course, we are shooting this out of a 605 snubby here, guys. Little 2-inch barrel. 12 inches penetration, I'm kind of happy with it out of a snub nose revolver like this. Now granted, you're going to have, you know, the LCRs or you're going to have, you know, other small guns, mouse guns. You know, most people that are carrying guns that need a light ammunition, they're probably not carrying a GP100. I'm sure I could get better penetration out of my GP100. I don't think you're going to have arthritis and be carrying a GP100. I could be wrong, you never know. But if you can carry a GP100, you don't need a light load because it, the damn gun's so heavy, it doesn't matter. But anyway, pretty damn good round. I was kind of impressed with it. 12 inches penetration, the expansion, pretty good. You know, 449, weight retention, spot on. Uh, the biggest thing that I was impressed with was the velocity ratings. Um, the average was 895. I'll throw that up there. But my spread was very minimal, 895, 890, 899, 903, and the low 888. That mean that that was the only one out of whack. But that was pretty good for you know this kind of a round, a light round. And Hordney does a damn good job loading all the time. I do I like all their critical defense lines. You guys know that. Once again, there it is, guys. You guys will see the close-ups of that. I'm pretty impressed with the round out of a small you know snub nose revolver like that 12 inches penetration i'll take it all day long all right you guys have a good one